Hey everyone, quick video. <laughs> um, things are not as orange as they used to be. I took the opportunity next day while it was still raining to clean up the patio because that mud is sticky and when it gets dry, it makes it even harder. It was difficult enough to do it while it was wet. But today, <laughs> I am busy washing my blooms because I really do want to be able to dedicate these without all this orange on them. So what I'm doing, got plain RO water in here and I'm doing the best I can to kind of, how do you say, flush off the dust. I'm not sure how successful it's going to be. And there's only one reason to find out. I know that doing nothing is not going to do any good. Um, the thing is with the texture of these Maasai red blooms, they are so velvety on the lip that anything, anything at all, will stick to that texture and it may actually not even come off. But we gotta try, we gotta try and get them ready to look as best as possible because, you know, there's a lot of people I want to thank and these are a big, big part. Some of them got hammered really, really badly. I don't want to be brushing over the velvety texture with my hands, so... <laughs> We'll see what happens. But yeah, it's not raining today, which is nice. I've got a bit of a respite. I've got all the orchids outside again. And even though it's not warm enough, it's better than nothing. Get them to dry out because my humidity for five days was at 95%, including temperatures of no higher than 13 degrees. Oh boy, dangerous, dangerous times. I can't see at this point that there was any damage to the orchids. They've not had any daylight for those five days as well. We have another couple of days to go. The new growths that we saw in an earlier video, they are looking fine. There's nothing wrong with those, but you know, you never know. And I'm keeping all my rainwater, all of it, even though it's orange, eventually when I do get to flush the pots out when they come out and it's warm enough for me to do so, all that sediment is good stuff. I'm not disputing the fact that it isn't good stuff. There's a lot of mineral trace elements and everything in those sedimentary deposits that I now have. And I'm going to be making sure that when I flush through, it gets into some of the pots. So I'm not gonna waste that rainwater, even though it looks orange. Not exactly my favorite word these past days. I can't believe it. There are signs of sun coming out. I have my summer bloomers behind me. <laughs> now, looks like they are fully exposed. So I'm gonna have to hustle a little bit here. Still wanna do a good job, but I want the summer bloomers out of the sun because they've been in perpetual darkness for five days as well. But what I don't want to have happen is that all the spraying I'm doing here is going to get into the crown of the summer bloomers. That would be a big mistake. That's why they are on the table behind me. That is now, because the sun is higher in the sky, fully, fully exposed. I can't believe it. And it's gorgeous. It feels so nice. Cannot tell you how nice it feels to see that sun coming through. And immediately it warms up the atmosphere. It's gorgeous. To my understanding, the reservoirs are not even half full yet but at least there was something that got collected. Something is better than nothing, and nothing was something that we had for months since November, no rain. I think we managed pretty well. I'm gonna see how they dry off. Let's see how the dust came off. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I really, really appreciate all your encouraging comments on the video that everything is orange. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate the support helping me to get through this. I can tell you honestly, I was slowly losing my mind. Yep. And then when the sky turned orange, I thought, well, that's it. The light was the strangest thing ever. The light in the property was just bizarre. Light, or well, you can't even call it that. There was no light. Dark, it was just dark and orange. Anyway, I'm sick of the word orange. I bet you are hearing me say it as well. But thank you very, very much for your encouraging comments. I appreciate it. You can see sun is coming out a little bit, but it's a tease. It's going to be getting a little bit more intense starting next week, supposedly April 1st. And then we're going to get on and off showers, but there will be light. Thank goodness. And I hope the fact that it happens on April 1st doesn't mean it's a joke. Thank you, everybody, so very, very much. 
You are all so appreciated. You have no idea. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.